Yeah. This is the like this narrow chest. End. Yeah, but yeah. Where this is the is this the harness that sort of slips off of him? It is. Yeah. Okay. And if you had a regular collar, he would be pulling you everywhere, right? Yeah, <laughs> he'd sure. be walking me. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. But like, yeah, so if your dog won't... Sort of like a detox is what we're looking at right here. In that car barking a trooper. Come on, buddy. He's handling it. Good job. Let's go with. So vibrate. Quiet. Quiet. Nice. I like your, your arm is like nice and long and relaxed. I see some slack in the leash. That's great. When you're on your walk, it should always be at your pace. So. Um, you can change your pace just to test your dog to make sure, hey, he's paying attention to me. So you can speed up your pace. It's, even when you slow down, it's, it's more challenging for a dog. So a lot of times I will slow things up really, yep, and just, and you'll see, like, he's looking at you. He's, now he's tuned in, right? And so when you feel like it, just kind of make a 180 and see, like, does he follow or does he go the opposite way? Good, nice, good. How does this feel now compared to before? Much better. Much better? Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, because he was still be ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, he, definitely at first when we walked, he would have to front the harness. Right. He would be pulling. Right. But um, when we would first start out and then into the walk, he would kind of relax a little bit, but it's still nowhere near like this. Okay. This is beautiful. You actually awesome. want to take walks. Exactly. And that's the whole point. So when you want to take, uh, I want you to just stop straight up without saying anything because really he should be at this point. Good job. And then just tell him good boy. Yes. Good boy.